Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a free downloadable that you can get from my website that you can use to help make your own Changing Faces Easter eggs. And um, I apologize, my voice isn't 100% yet, but it sounds a little better than it has in the past, so bear with me. Um, I've done the Changing Faces for a few other seasons. We did stuff for St. Patrick's Day with clovers and uh, hearts for Valentine's Day, and I thought it'd be perfect to use the little Easter egg pattern to make our own Changing Faces Easter eggs. Um, you've got the little Easter egg in front, and on the back is a little, a little egg with a little chicky in it. And then you could put the little face inside. And I've uh, made five colors. So uh, there's pink, uh, yellow, green, purple, and then sky blue, which I'll show you guys today. And uh, as always, there's four emotions. Happy, angry, sad, and sleepy. So you could choose from all those with the downloadable that you get, the printable. So, um... A lot of fun, I think. I hope you guys can find some fun ways to use these. So, uh, the basic elements is just two boxes put together in a hinging method and then a balloon inside to make the, the face. Um, when you download the uh, PDF, you wind up getting actually four sheets of paper. You have two smaller pieces of paper for making the box and then this larger piece of paper for making the balloon. And there's two of those. Um, one that has this one like angry and sleepy and then the other that has happy and sad on it. So you can make both of the balloons and switch everything out or just choose one balloon to make if you want to. That's up to you. Um, but just kind of a fun little project. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys first here how to make a box really quick. And I've already folded these um, so there's creases on them but I'll just show you guys how to do this. You just start off by folding in half both ways so you can find where your center is. Go ahead and fold then all four corners towards the center. Then you should have a side that has an egg on it. And in the case with the birdie, you'll have an egg on one side and on the opposite side you'll have the birdie. But we want to fold that side towards the center so that when you fold those sides towards the center you wind up getting the little QR code and the logo there. Open those sides up. Go ahead and let these uh, sides pop open. I'm going to take the point here, fold it all the way back to the edge. That makes it a little easier when I fold this side forward. Then we can just kind of turn things around, do the same thing on this side too. And that will give us the two sides of our box. Then we'll use the uh, diagonal crease that you see that cuts through this little area so that when you push it on that edge, it'll tuck in and pull the side up to create the edge of our box. And we just do that on both sides and then fold this part in and over to create one edge of our box. And I'll do the same thing on this side too. And that gives me a completed box. And you'll make two of those. And then when we put them together, you want to take the box as the bottom part of the egg and the little egg chick on the other side. Take that flap with the chick and open it up. Take the triangular flap and fold it down. When you turn it over, you should get a nice little square, which will be the back of our hinge box with the little chicky there. So put that down. The other box you want to take the edge that's opposite of the top of the egg. Pull that open. That's going to be the hinge that we're going to use to slide in so that we can connect these two boxes. If I open the bottom up here and allow this area to open, I can slide this piece in. Take the tip here, meet up with the other three tips in the center of the bottom of the box. And then just let these sides collapse inside. And then you could go ahead if you want and just kind of pinch things back to create a nice hinge. And then you can get a nice little completed box. They should line up pretty good on the front. And you have the little chicky on the back. So I'll go ahead and put that to the side. That's our completed box. And then we're just going to use this other piece of paper to make a balloon. Now, um, if you need a little help with these uh, and you want to watch a little slower video, I'll have a link to the original hinge box and also balloon too. But you want to start with your color side facing down, fold it diagonally both ways so that we can find where our center is. Flip it over and fold horizontally and vertically now as well. Open it up, find the diagonal crease again, fold it kind of in half, put a little pressure in the center, and things should shimmy around pretty easily here. Mine already has creases in it, so it's a little not wanting to cooperate, but you should get a nice triangle like this. Now you want to make sure that the side with the QR code and the logo are facing up and the face, the eyes are hiding inside. Now I'm going to take each of these four tips and fold it up to the point. 
So I can do these two sides, flip it over, and do these two sides as well. And you should have all four of those points up here on top now. Then I could take this side and I'm going to fold towards the center. You want to create a following kind of this center line that goes between these two points, and this edge should be parallel to the center. I'll do that for all four sides, so I'll fold these two in and these two as well. Then we're going to secure all of these sides so that when we blow it up, it'll stay like a balloon. So you'll notice on these little flaps, there's a nice little pocket here. I'm going to take this tab and just roll it into the pocket and then put a little crease there to secure it down. And then I'll just do that for the remaining three sides so that I can get this all nice and smoothed down to make our completed balloon. Sometimes it may not want to go right. You just kind of add a little curl to it. Once you get it started, if you put a little pressure on it, it should slip right in there. So I've got all of these four areas now locked down. Oops, that didn't go in. There we go. Now, if you just take these and kind of open up the sides a little, get a little air going. One side it has a solid edge. If you flip it over, there's a hole on the other side. Put a little air in here. And if you need to, you could kind of pull things apart a little to poof it out better. But you should get a nice little fat balloon. Then you just take that, slide it into your box. It should be a nice little snug fit. Take the top part and get it to latch over at least those two top points there. And it should be able to just be nice and snug. You can close it all the way or allow it to pop open a little or a lot depending on how much you want the eyes to show. And that's the finished box with a little changing face inside and a little chicky on the other back. And like I said, there's five colors, nice fun pastel colors for you to choose from. And um, I'll have these, this project as well as lots of others from last year and some new things as well as we uh, get into spring. It's the first day of spring today. And, you know, we're looking at Easter just around the corner. So I hope these help in your decorating for that. And uh, thank you guys again always so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye.